In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon you. Today we will continue our discussion regarding women in Islamic history. Today we will discuss the life of Umm Salama, one of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's wife. Throughout the life of each and every single individual, there are certain situations that determine the true and legitimate character of that person. Persevering through difficulties, believing, being devoted for the right cause, and willing to sacrifice whatever is in one's will are just a few of what a true role model and hero would do. During the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, especially at the beginning of preaching the message of Islam, there weren't too many who were willing to put their lives and whatever they possessed on the line. However, there were certain individuals who were not only loyal by heart, but by action, as well as they even gave up their lives and the lives of their loved ones to stand by what is correct. Among these individuals is a woman who goes by the name Um Salama. Her real name was Hind bint Umayyah and became famous by the name Um Salama because her eldest son went by that name. She was first married to Abdullah bin Abdul Asad al Muhzami and they were both among a few who accepted the religion of Islam at the very beginning. With both Umm Salama and her husband being from known and respectable families, they were each known for possessing certain characteristics that made them well known within the Arab society at the time. However, this all changed after they converted to Islam. When people realized that this couple had converted to Islam, many began to create problems making trouble for them causing them to migrate to Abyssinia. Upon moving to this new country, Umm Salama and her husband, along with 14 other Muslims, were presented with a decent life as a ruler of that country was a Christian and fair king. They were provided with the necessities to live and were treated very kindly. The disbelievers in Mecca heard what had been occurring and how Islam is now spreading in different regions. They decided to take action. They traveled to Abbasinia and presented a large amount of money as well as many other valuable gifts before the king as a way of bribing him to turn over the Muslims. However, this king was not only fair in treatment but was also incredibly wise. As he sent for the leader of the Muslim group, which was Abu Salama, and after hearing what he had to say, the king reached the conclusion that he would not surrender such righteous people. These Muslims continued living in Abbasinia for years and began to spread the holy message of the Prophet, peace be upon him. However, Umm Salama and Abu Salama could not forget their beloved land and were quite saddened at the fact that they were simply immigrants. After a few years, the Muslims living in Abbasinia received news from Mecca stating that Muslims were able to live peacefully as many people have embraced the holy religion, causing from Umm Salama and her husband to return. However, after returning, they realized that what they had heard was simply a trap to lure them into returning to Mecca, and they witnessed that Muslims were now in much more danger than before. When Prophet Muhammad وسلم, saw this, he ordered the Muslims to travel to Medina, and there they were to remain until Mecca becomes less dangerous. However, Umm Salama's family decided they were not going to let this happen and forced her to leave her children and husband behind. This beautiful family that was built upon unconditional love and sacrifice for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Abu Salama traveled to Medina, Umm Salama was taken by her parents and the children were taken by Abu Salama's tribe. It has been narrated that after this occurred, Umm Salama would sit in the very spot her family was torn apart and would weep. However, after a certain period of time, Umm Salama regained custody of her children and was given permission to join her husband in Medina. The revelation of the religion of Islam meant constant wars against the disbelievers with those who do not wish for the religion to grow and spread constantly being the ones to begin the battling, the only God and practicing their religion freely. Abu Salama was along the side with Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and fought in many wars. However, in the battle of Uhud, Abu Salama was seriously injured which led to his death. 
Before passing away, Abu Salama prayed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides his family a protector and provider and to grant Umm Salama a husband that would give her neither sorrow nor hardship. Preserving through such hardship is not something any individual can do. In fact, it not only requires for an immense amount of dedication, loyalty and faith, but also the ability to sacrifice, yet willing to give up more for a certain cause. This is one of the main things one can learn from the story of Umm Salama up until this point as we realize that she not only preserved but also was willing to sacrifice whatever it took for the religion of Islam as well for her beloved husband. After the death of Abu Salama, the Prophet decided to protect Umm Salama and reward her sacrifices. So he proposed to Umm Salama and with that she became part of the Holy Household. Not only is she forever imprinted in the history for being among the first to embrace and spread the religion of Islam, but is also known for her knowledge and her love towards the Ahlul Bayt. And in return, the members of the Ahlul Bayt السلام, loved her equally as much and would often confide in her with their matters. Once the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, informed her about the events of the martyrdom of his own dear grandson in advance, he entrusted some soil of Karbala in the glass to her and said, Whenever you see that the soil of this glass changes to blood, know that my grandson Hussein السلام, has been martyred. On the 10th day of Muharram, 61 AD, Umm Salama was sleeping in Medina in the afternoon. In her dreams, she saw the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, while he was filled with sorrow and his clothes were dusty. He said, I'm coming from Karbala and the burial of the martyrs. Suddenly, she woke up and looked at the glass, and she found that the soil had changed to blood. It was then that she knew that Imam Hussein السلام, was martyred. She started to mourn and cry. Others knew not about the event, and Umm Salama revealed the event. From the life of this holy figure, who started her life off as a normal individual, however, because of her noble actions, she managed to become one of the greatest women for history to witness. By embracing, defending, and spreading the religion of Islam, Umm Salama not only managed to become associated with the Prophet, peace be upon him, but also became his wife and part of the household of the Ahlul Bayt السلام. Through the characteristics she possessed, Umm Salama became a role model for history to forever remember and learn from. Thank you, dear viewers, for tuning in, and we hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.